when it feels like Abinadi is maybe going to get through to King Noah. Mm -hmm. Noah is surrounded by these priests he appointed who, who are the best and the brightest and a bad influence on him. <laughs> and so in Mosiah chapter 12, you see one time where they're counseling the king. And in verses 13 to 14, they say, and now, O king, what great evil hast thou done? Or what great sins have thy people committed? You're that, amazing. You're, you're amazing so <laughs> that we should be condemned of God or judged of this man. Wow. Even then they were sensitive to that idea. Oh, I'm being judged. I don't like that. Wow. Right. And now, O king, behold, we are guiltless. If you're saying that, you're probably wrong. Right. But they say, we are guiltless, and thou, O king, hast not sinned. Therefore, this man has lied concerning you, and he has prophesied in vain. And then they go on, and they're, and they're quoting from texts, and they're giving authority. And it's got to be overwhelming for Abinadi, right? He's one voice, and he's trying to figure out, how can you be so smart and not get mm -hmm. these obvious truths? And then we get that verse verse 27, where it clicks for him. And he goes, oh, here's what's happening. Ye have not applied your hearts to understanding. Therefore, ye have not been wise. So even though they're smart, even though they've read the scriptures and can quote them to Abinadi with those closed off hearts that it's just not clicking. They're not totally getting it. And they can't see reality as it is.